Well, this morning on Core Explorers, we're stepping back in time on a smaller scale. For the next several weekends, train enthusiasts can witness the history of locomotion around the Portland metro. Core Harlan is live in North Portland this morning with a preview of the 75th anniversary Model Railroad Show. Good morning, Core. Good morning, Emily and men. They do put on a show here for the month of November, beginning this coming weekend here for the next uh, four weekends in November, all the way through December 3rd and 4th. You'll be able to come through here and check out a replica, the largest uh, half H. What H O. Is, H O means what? Half O. Half O. I asked her three times. The largest half O railroad layout in the Pacific Northwest. It's a replica of the rail lines as they go up the Columbia River Gorge, and we are starting this time around here with the shot from uh, from uh, yeah. East Bend. This actually goes a little bit south of the gorge too into yeah. Bend. But uh, that's a, a replica of the line as it goes through Bend right there. You can see the lower train kind of going into the tunnel, that upper train on the, uh, on the ridge up there heading into the tunnel. In the mountain, it will emerge as you kind of move a little bit to your right, Carl. It emerges here coming out towards uh, Madras, right? You can see him kind of coming through those, uh, those storefronts uh, or the, the, off the buildings there along the railroad line there in that what is meant to be Madras. Now we're standing in the foreground here uh, in the lower area here. This is a, a scale model, an old railroad town of Wishram along the uh, Washington side of the Columbia River. And as Carl kind of shows you around here, they've gone to some pretty painstaking detail to depict life of what it would have been like in Wishram, Washington. Uh, back in the day in the heyday of modern railroads. Cynthia uh, Leonard is uh, the president of the Columbia Gorge Model Railroad Club. The show starts this coming weekend for the next four weekends. And this is a big time for you. This is where you make your budget money and, and allow, right. by allowing people to really come in here and have a treat looking at this. Yes, it's a, it's a real show. It's different than just uh, coming around and seeing a train go around a circle or something. We're doing operations, we're, we're showing history, we're showing art and when you get um, you know six operators up there and various operators in every yard you've got a lot of trains running all at once and so, it's spectacular. She said 35 people it takes yeah. to run this it's just spectacular here. All right Carl about face to your right hard to your right we'll leave the uh, the ridge lines of uh, uh, Madras mm -hmm. and we'll come over here to Hood River on the other side of the gorge and again a lot of this show is about history and some of the industry well, of course a big part of the uh, industry and history of Oregon has been logging. One last log truck, uh, log train to come off here. Watch this as they dump that last thing of logs into the river there. There's a little mechanical lift there and it pops that log off the train and what would be into the river there. That is a, another neat example of uh, just some of the history that's going on here. Yeah, the, right? the logging industry was so important um, in Oregon. Before uh, the tech industry came, logging was it. Yeah. And so this is, this is what people would have had as their main life uh, li uh, style. Go to the website or go to our website, coin.com, uh, for a link to the uh, Columbia Gorge Model Railroad Club website. I should tell you there's also QR codes back here. I'm sorry, Carl, back this way here. There's also a lot of QR codes on the plexiglass as you walk through here, Emily and Kelly. Uh, plexiglass, well, that's, that's all right. It'll be up here when you get here. But it'll give you, for instance, that wigwam burner back there. Those were, those were real big landmark features and a lot of logging areas there where they burn all the scrap wood up there uh, and you can learn a little bit more about the history of that and a ton of other things here with QR codes as the Columbia Gorge Model Railroad Club gets ready for its 75th annual show starting this weekend uh, you you got a lot of you got a lot of gray-haired kids at heart I'm looking around <laughs> here a lot of young kids though too a lot mm -hmm. of ages sexes there's everybody with an interest in trains is everybody that they welcome here there's young and old and everybody at the base here Emily is a kid at heart absolutely kiddos big and small that's for sure thanks core I, I think it's so cool you know even seeing it on TV it's hard until you're in person to really see yeah. how intricate some and of these models are. I know the trains are cool, but I'm looking at kind of the landscapes, yeah. the backgrounds, the model trees and plains and grasses. It's so cool to see that it's the gorge. So right. Close by, and so. teach some history in there as well. Yeah. 